It is that time of year again when millions of men around the world take on the challenge known as No Nut November. But is No Nut November actually good for you? Science has provided fairly clear evidence about what really happens when you abstain from ejaculation for 30 days. Does the body truly become stronger? Or is there something else happening quietly inside that most people overlook? I am Dr. Julia Hart, a urologist specializing in men's health. Today, we will analyze the scientific truth behind semen retention. Every November, many men join No Nut November, a 30-day challenge that originated from a Reddit post in 2011 and quickly became a viral phenomenon. It involves abstaining from ejaculation in all forms, no sex, no masturbation, no release of any kind. In the next few minutes, we will look directly at what actually increases, what decreases, and the automatic biological responses that can overturn the entire challenge, no matter how strong your willpower is. Before you decide whether to participate in or skip this challenge, let us step inside the body's real story where hormones, expectations, and instincts intertwine in a delicate balance that no one can fully resist. So, what exactly does semen retention do? The concept of semen retention has existed for centuries across many cultures. It has often been viewed as a form of self-mastery, a way to control desire, and even as a method to elevate life energy. On the surface, it sounds simple, a small challenge with big promises. More energy, sharper focus, greater strength. For many men, overcoming that temptation becomes a symbol of willpower, a way to prove they can control themselves. That sense of victory can indeed bring real confidence and discipline. And that, in itself, has value. But somewhere, amid the encouragement and word-of-mouth advice, a series of myths began to take shape. People claim that abstaining from ejaculation boosts testosterone, improves fertility, thickens semen, and makes men more energetic and attractive. Some even believe that semen is a form of vital energy, and that the longer you retain it, the more power the body accumulates. All of these ideas carry a natural allure after all. Who would not want to feel stronger and sharper simply by restraining instinct? Yet between belief and biology lies a very thin line. And if you truly listen to your body, you will realize that it does not care about trends or get hypnotized by promises. Before we accept the idea that semen retention is the key to power, we need to let science speak for the body itself. Because sometimes, what we call discipline is simply another way of misunderstanding ourselves. When people talk about semen retention, they often imagine the body storing energy, hormones surging, and vitality being compressed like an electric current waiting to be released. But human physiology does not work that way. The body is not a container for energy. It is a living system that constantly seeks balance. The three aspects most often discussed are testosterone, fertility, and semen volume. And when viewed through the lens of science, all three tell a very different story. Let's start with testosterone, the hormone often seen as the symbol of male strength. Two small studies are frequently cited in forums that advocate semen retention. One included 10 men and the other 29. Both tracked testosterone levels while participants abstained from ejaculation for several days. The results showed a slight increase in testosterone after three weeks of abstinence. But when you look closely, something interesting appears. The participants knew that on the final day they would be shown erotic material and allowed to masturbate. That anticipation of reward activated the brain's reward circuitry, causing a temporary hormonal spike that reflected arousal, not the act of retention itself. The second study found that testosterone rose around day 7 but returned to baseline just a few days later. This suggests that any increase is short-lived and driven more by psychological anticipation of pleasure than by abstinence itself. In other words, it is a momentary uptick produced when the body thinks a reward is coming. When the reward does not arrive, the endocrine system quietly resets itself to balance. When we move to fertility, the data becomes even clearer. Sperm are living cells, continuously produced by the testes, when ejaculation is delayed for too long, sperm do not lie dormant, waiting for a moment of glory they age. 
They are exposed to oxidative stress, DNA damage increases, and their motility declines. Research shows that after five to seven days without ejaculation, sperm quality begins to deteriorate. Older sperm become weaker, more deformed, and less capable of fertilization. This is why, in semen analysis, the World Health Organization recommends men abstain for two to three days before providing a sample, no more, no less, to ensure optimal freshness. If you are trying to conceive, prolonged abstinence can actually reduce your chances. Studies on optimal conception timing show that having intercourse every one to two days during ovulation maximizes fertility. Retaining semen for 10, 20, or 30 days does not make sperm stronger. It merely forces the body to reabsorb what has expired. Then comes semen volume, the one aspect where retention appears to make a modest difference. Even when ejaculation is avoided, the prostate and accessory glands continue to produce fluid, so semen volume gradually increases. Two large systematic reviews examining dozens of smaller studies found that semen volume increases by about 12% per day during the first four days of abstinence. But after the fifth day, the rate of increase drops sharply and nearly plateaus. The body does not allow semen to accumulate indefinitely. When it reaches a threshold, a reabsorption process begins, in which epithelial cells in the reproductive tract reclaim nutrients, proteins, and ions from the old semen, and recycle them back into circulation. It is a remarkably efficient biological recycling mechanism. At the same time, the body has another method to reset balance nocturnal emission, or what is commonly called a wet dream. This is not a failure of willpower. It is an automatic reflex of the nervous system. When physical pressure reaches a certain level, the brain sends a release signal, maintaining hormonal stability and preventing congestion in the reproductive organs. Understanding this reveals that semen retention is not a battle between discipline and desire. It is a natural biological rhythm that the body continually regulates. When you suppress release for too long, the body will find its own way to discharge. When you release too easily, it balances again through hormonal adjustment and reabsorption. The ultimate goal of physiology is not to control desire, but to preserve stability and life itself. The body does not chase temporary strength, it pursues long-term equilibrium. Once you understand this rhythm, you realize that true strength lies not in holding back, but in listening. Every biological reaction serves a purpose, and every limit is a form of protection. But physiology is only half the story. The other half lives in emotion, in the relationship between a man and his own natural needs. And that is where this journey becomes truly profound. Many men enter the No Nut November Challenge, believing they are training their willpower. They count each day, feeling victorious every morning they wake up without giving in to desire. But then, one night, they wake up to a damp spot on the sheets, a racing heartbeat, and a wave of guilt that rushes in. In that moment, many believe they have failed. In truth, they have simply witnessed their body doing exactly what it was designed to do. Nocturnal emission, or wet dreams, are not mistakes, and certainly not signs of weakness. They are a natural self-regulation mechanism of the male reproductive system. When semen volume reaches a certain threshold, the body automatically triggers an ejaculation reflex during sleep to maintain internal stability. Just as the heart does not need your permission to beat, the body does not require your consent to self-adjust. Ejaculation during sleep is a sign of a healthy, functioning system, not a moral failure. Yet what truly matters here is not only the physiological reaction, but also the psychology behind the challenge. For many, abstaining is not just about controlling sexual behavior, but about regaining a sense of agency over their impulses, a way to reset their relationship with pleasure. Viewed through that lens, the real value of the challenge lies not in retention, but in self-understanding. Restraint is not about resisting the body, it is about learning to listen to it. When you realize that instinct is not the enemy, you begin to see that self-control comes not from suppression but from balance. And perhaps the real lesson of this challenge is not found in 30 days without ejaculation, but in 30 days of facing yourself, your desire, your limits, 
and the truth that the body always knows how to return to its natural state, no matter where the mind tries to go. Looking back on this journey, one thing becomes clear. The male body does not need to be controlled or tested to become stronger. It was designed to regulate itself, maintaining balance between desire and recovery. Semen retention does not cause a lasting rise in testosterone, does not improve fertility, and does not create any mystical source of energy. After a few days, the body either reabsorbs the semen or releases it during sleep. There is no miracle at play, only physiology doing its job. The most valuable lesson a man can take from this challenge is not the achievement of 30 days without ejaculation, but the understanding of himself. When you learn to observe your body, you begin to see what truly makes you stronger. Adequate sleep, balanced nutrition, regular movement, and a healthy sexual rhythm. A healthy body does not need to be restrained. It needs to be in sync with its natural cycles. If you want to optimize your sexual health, start with small, real steps. Ejaculate regularly every three to five days to renew sperm. Maintain deep, consistent sleep. Supplement with zinc and vitamin D. Strengthen your pelvic floor to improve circulation. And above all, stop treating your instincts as enemies. See them as parts of you that deserve to be understood, respected, and lived in harmony with. True strength is not found in holding back. It lies in how you treat your own body. If this message resonates with you, click like, subscribe, and share this video with other men who might need to hear it. Stay strong, stay magnetic, and I will see you in the next Men's Health Secrets video.